Hey guys, this episode, we're gonna clean this bucket. You voted to save it, so we're saving it, but we're gonna clean it first. This is one you'll probably not wanna miss, maybe. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Bill back with the Hangar Rats. Okay, last episode you guys voted and you voted to save this thing. So we're going to get the Faux Fighter, the Cessna 172 or Blue 172 or whatever you want to call it. But we're going to get this thing back flying again. First thing we're going to do is clean the outside of it, kind of de-skankify it. And then what we'll do is we'll walk around and point out what we got to do, what kind of parts we need and things like that. So stay tuned. Here we go. We're going to wash a plane. That'll be fun. Actually, we're just gonna wash the fuselage because the wings, well, they're pretty rough. Well, actually, we'll blow the paint off, but you get the gist. Okay, you get the gist of it. Now, I'm just, I'm just blasting it or, or pressure washing it <clears throat> on the, uh, for the most part, on the rivet lines on the wings. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, I'll get a close up of, you, of this here. This paint is just falling off. Uh, this thing's been falling, the paint's been falling off. There's paint all over the ground here. But the paint job in this was absolutely terrible. So, no prep ter or terrible prep. It was a scratch and sand over an old lacquer paint job, a 1962 lacquer paint job. So as far as the wings go, we know they're going to be reskinned. They're either going to be reskinned or replaced. So what we did is we hit all of the rivet seams, kind of make sure that we can see all the rivets. There's a ton of paint on this, way too much. Uh, in fact, there's quite a bit of um, quite a bit of filler. Uh, they kind of skim coated a, a lot of sanding sealer on it. Way too heavy a paint job. So that's going to come off. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the wings as far as trying to pressure wash them. All I did up on the top, I just hit the rivet lines. That's it. So we can either we or a repair shop can go and get to the rivets a little bit easier to drill them out. So that's a big thing there. You can see on the back when I was pressure washing the back, the paint was actually coming off. That's how poorly adhered it was. And anybody that knows me, 
I don't like pressure washing airplanes. I, it's just not a good thing to do. You don't need to do it. You can get a lot of gunk in the uh, laps and all that. This airplane, the back of this fuselage and all that, we're going to strip it and we're also going to be, um, we're going to strip it and then we're also going to, there's a wasp over there, i got to keep an eye on them. Um, we're going to be taking the, the uh, back of the fuselage off and replacing that. So I hit all the rivet lines there, clean those all up, everything looks good there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change cameras up on you guys and we're going to walk around and uh, give you kind of my idea what we're what we need to do on this thing. So. Step one is cleaning the outside. Next episode, we're gonna clean the inside. It might, if, if we're lucky or not lucky, might be a few surprises on that. So right now, all we have here is we're gonna have a fuselage, two wings, two lift struts, and everything else is, um, everything else is either in storage or inside the airplane. So it, it's, we don't need to, to mess with it. Uh, in fact, we'll even look at the, I'll get a screwdriver and we'll take the engine cowl off and take a look at that. So hang on, here we go. Okay guys, let's walk around this thing, see what uh, what we got ourselves into. So the sun's starting to set, hopefully it'll be a little nicer, but we'll walk around, uh, kind of check out all this different stuff. Okay, the wings. Okay, let's talk about the wings. The wings had a lot of handle damage, we know that. Uh, they have to be reskinned, uh, so much so that if you, I don't know if you can see this, there's a lot of water here, but um, there's actually dents on the bottom of this wing from the hail going through. We had the fuel tanks and the fuel tank covers off, great. They're inside the airplane, great. But the, the, uh, because there's an open hole up there, it actually bent the bottom skin because the hail came through and hit the top and did that. You can see some of this stuff. Again, some of the workmanship that was on here before runs. Um, this area had been repainted for some reason. Not sure what's going on. Uh, this paint is just peeling off. I haven't touched this thing for, eh, I don't know. I really haven't been around this thing looking at it for a couple, three years. We had it on the other tie down, just kind of waiting but you can see the paint is just coming off. This paint's only about five, six years old, something like that, and it's, it's just coming off, so it's all gotta come off. It's terrible. Had some shoddy uh, repairs here. This is gonna come off. This is crap, so that'll come off. <clears throat> wing tip, uh, we have a, a crap repair there. That's gotta, this wing tip, uh, that's gotta come off. Rear spar, rear aileron spar, um, it's got a patch on it here. That looks like heck, so, uh, We'll probably want to replace that. Um, coming around here, the flap cove, it's got a big old Siamese patch thingy here to here. Something went on here really pretty bad. There's some 3 16 inch bolts in here. I don't feel good about this, so I don't feel good one bit. So what we're gonna do is I've got another, I've got a takeout spar. Uh, so hopefully either we or somebody will be putting a new uh, inboard rear spar in as a minimum in addition with the uh, the uh, upper and lower skins. Trailing edge here, you can see this in the flap cove. I'll kind of give you another angle. Um, it's all wavy, so that's kind of jacked up. There is a wrinkle up in here. Uh, we know that, we knew that when we, uh, we knew that when we got the aircraft. So there is a wrinkle up here. We knew that when we got the aircraft. So we're gonna, we gotta address this skin for sure. Uh, this skin here <clears throat> is gonna come out. It's got a lot of hail damage on top. You can see all of the extra paint that I took off the other side is just blistering all over the place. There's an airplane up in the air, which is a good place for it. Um, here's another one that you can see the paint was, I was just power washing this stuff off and it was just coming off pretty, pretty terrible. This, I just pushed off with the uh, power washer. Now this plane was originally um, like a, I think a cream with a uh, purpley lavender trim stripe or something back in 62. So this would have been, this would have been a Skyhawk because it had the fancy paint. It had two-tone paint. A 172 was less instruments and then it would have only had um, bare aluminum with a trim stripe. So this, because this hat was two-tone, this would have been the, the up trim uh, model. Big deal. Okay, coming around here, tail cone looks actually in very good shape. No big deal. These, uh, a lot of times these will get uh, uh, belt, basically melted from different paint jobs and all that. Uh, that hasn't happened, so hopefully these will be in good shape. We can leave them alone. Otherwise, we'll replace them with new fiberglass uh, Fairlead doodahs. Um, the other part here, again, you can see this, all this paint's just coming off. So we're gonna, we don't really care about this because these skins are gonna be replaced, so not a big deal. Uh, cargo door looks pretty good. No big deals here. This side didn't get hit, so we're in pretty good shape. Um, the forward, after the, the forward part of the fuselage, we went and stripped it. 
and I probably shouldn't have, but I stripped it and then uh, we, the, the project kind of paused. So what we're going to do there is we're going to uh, take the hinges off and the latches off because they end up getting rusty. We'll take those off, um, retreat them, re reprime them, and then reassemble them, make sure that there's, we don't want any corrosion in between those where that hinge goes on. So that'll be all done properly. It'll get, of course, new windows. Um, landing gear, we're going to strip um, media blast and then also die penetrant landing gear, make sure they're all okay. So they'll get pulled out. When we paint this thing, we're gonna paint this thing a little different from most airplanes. We're gonna pull it all apart, uh, which would be not much, but we're going to uh, we're going to put it on a rotisserie and we're going to paint it that way. We're going to paint it ourselves and show you how uh, you can paint an aircraft yourself. All you have to do is take it apart, right? Easy peasy. Um, windows, uh, pretty much. Uh, so we're going to need all new windows. That's a given. We're going to have to go with all new windows, um, main window, and then the uh, the four rear windows. Um, Wheels and brakes, we do have some uh, replacement later model wheels and brakes for the mains. We will need new tires for those. We need a new nose wheel for this aircraft because that one is a, just a mix up of parts and all that. So the nose wheel will be replaced with a better nose wheel, more airworthy nose wheel. Nose gear will come apart. We'll put a seal kit in there and we'll also do a torque link kit on that to get that all sorted out. Um, Inside the wing here, there's some bell cranks. Those bell cranks, we'll probably take those out, meaty blast them, and then also put some new bearings. And that'll be a bell crank for the flap and also for the aileron out here. That's what's in these, in these big holes in a Cessna 172 or 150. So that's what we're gonna do here. This wing, uh, the bottom skin is actually okay. So when it gets rebuilt, this one should be okay, except for this skin up in here. And you can see all the, I can't believe there's so much paint running all over this thing. It's just a prior paint job. But I don't know if you can see it, but there's dents. Same deal on this side, no gas tank. So the hail was hitting the top of this skin here, but there's dents, dents, dents. So big dents here. So we're gonna change the skin out. Change the skin out at least to the, uh, where the taper starts. And my dog's barking, oh well. Um, I'll come back and uh, power wash this, but you can see uh, the paint, we're gonna do a whole lot better job than that. Uh, this wing tip is actually in pretty good shape. Um, unfortunately, a leading edge got spanked with the hail, so we'll need that. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to check out and see what's under the uh, in the engine. Uh, what we did do is we stripped this uh, a while back. Good thing is, when you strip all the uh, paint off, your you can see any problems. This piece here is real prone to cracking. It's right by the propeller vibration. We've got cracks here, cracks here. We'll probably replace this with a composite part or well, we might get crazy and try to make one. Well, my fabric show you how to fabricate one of those by hand, but most likely we'll put a uh, fiberglass replacement on there so it doesn't crack again. So let's see what this looks like underneath. Okay, so basic 0300, 300 cubic inch engine, 145 horsepower. This thing's been sleeping, we don't know how long. We don't really know what the condition of it is, so what we're going to do is completely overhaul this thing. So this will need overhaul, we'll need probably go with six new cylinders, um, go with later model uh, aftermarket cylinders most likely, do that. Um, in here, the uh, engine compartment, what we have here is battery box, so we'll need a new battery of course when we get there. We have a vacuum pump, air oil separator, this is a wet vacuum pump, kind of old school. They're great, they last forever, but Maybe if we're lucky we can do something with some displays and maybe eliminate the uh, vacuum pump system altogether. That'd be kind of nice, a nice weight savings, but we'll have to see. Otherwise, we'll put this back in. Uh, the wet pump is actually quite good. It is bulletproof. It is a little bit messy, but the thing will last forever. So that's, a, that's something to look at. We have the magnetos. Magnetos are old, old, old slick case magnetos, 600 series. So what we're going to do there is those will go in the rubbish and we'll get all new magnetos to this airplane. We'll get uh, replacement magnetos and a harness and spark plugs and all that. So that'll all be 100% new there. New rubber engine mounts, uh, mufflers. We're hoping the mufflers and exhaust system are okay. Um, this is kind of neat. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see this. This is an old Cessna sticker here. It shows, this, it shows you how untouched this aircraft really is. Um, there's a sticker for uh, what kind of oil you put in it. Shell Oil Company, New York, New York. 
and you write down the premium grade or whatever. Battery box, uh, we'll put the, uh, probably put the same battery back in, or some like a 25, or maybe what we'll do is if there's a, an SDC for a lightweight battery, maybe we'll put that in if we can. Wiring, wiring is, um, you know, it's a 62, so the wiring is only 60 years old. So I think what we're gonna do is probably change the wiring out just because. Any wiring or hoses, we're gonna change those out, make sure we feel good. Corrosion-wise, this aircraft is in very good shape. Uh, so we'll take the engine mount off and go through that. The alternator is a Jasco. Uh, I believe Hartzell has the, uh, has the uh, manufacturing on that now. So we'll uh, probably get that overhaul. That's a good unit. Uh, if there's a lightweight, better one, maybe we'll go that way. But um, that's good enough for what we've got right now. Um, so that's kind of this side. Um, starter is the old uh, the old clunker starter if we if we can get a lightweight one that'd be great otherwise we'll leave it be this is being a 62 model this has kind of older baffling anybody with a later model 172 you don't have this box all this air distribution is on a valve on the firewall over here the 150s 172s and 182s had it over here this is kind of version 10 of the 172 this is where your cabin heat and all that uh, cabin heat carb heat and all that selector was in this area here so kind of a kind of an earlier version we uh, all this looks like it's in pretty good shape the baffling has been replaced at one time but the baffles the this this material has been replaced the baffles don't look bad um, we may have to redo some of the baffles and remanufacture those that shouldn't be a problem generator control unit is up here for the uh, Jasco so that's all good uh, we'll send those out make sure that they're good to go. Windshield, like I said before, we'll get some new windshield, uh, all new glass for that. Down low, um, we'll work on the, uh, we'll redo the uh, steering damper, uh, rebuild that. Torque links, we'll make sure that's tight, possibly put a bushing kit in it. Um, none of that stuff's connected. The push-pull rods, uh, or the pull rods for the steering rods, we will go and get um, replacement boots for that and get that right. There's no antennas on this thing right now, so we're going to have, at least on the bottom, we're going to have a transponder antenna for sure. So that's that. Um, somebody driving down the road in a motorcycle. What else? Uh, the tire, that's a brand new tire, brand new Goodyear Flight Custom. Unfortunately, that thing is old and dry rotted. Never used, but uh, just sat at the airport rotting. Same thing with the rest of these tires. So. That's where we are on that. Um, the wing tips, wing tips are fine. Good enough for this aircraft. They need some body work there. The original type wing tips. What we would like to do though is we'd like to put some tip strobes on it. So that's a big thing. Put some tip strobes. LEDs would be nice, but the most important thing is put some tip strobes. And we have on the vertical fin, we already have the tail beacon. Um, I've got a uh, strobe on that one. So that's all been, uh, that's been fixed up. So that's ready to go. That's part of the vertical fin work. We'll show you that next time, some of the work we've done on that. So that's kind of what's going on. The bird right now, we're working hard on it, getting this thing going. Um, we did start a GoFundMe, so if you guys want to see this thing flying, again, our goal is not to keep this airplane. This airplane is going to go and fly people. That's our biggest intent, is to get it out to an organization that can fly this thing. Um, this thing needs to fly. It hasn't flown in so long. It really needs to fly. The aircraft only has, best we can tell, this aircraft has about 2,000 hours on it. So that's about it. It's, it's as far as working, it's a pretty young airplane. So uh, like, share, subscribe, notify, all that good stuff. Definitely subscribe, tell your friends. Um, and we are working on getting something set up in the shop. I'm trying to get the, the new shop finished up and closed in. Hopefully that'll happen the next week or so. Then we, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is take the wings off of this thing, roll it in the shop and start doing that. So next episode, we're gonna clean out the inside see what treasures are in there. We know, I know that most of the flippers are in there and the fuel tanks and all that. The biggest thing we're gonna do is see what's in there, see what we can throw out and see what we can get rid of. But the, the good news is, uh, I don't think there's any mouse poo or any of that stuff. So we're in pretty good shape that way. Um, so that's it. F uh, hangar rats, we're working on the Faux Fighter Cessna 172. Um, hey man, this thing's gonna fly. We don't have a time schedule right now, but uh, definitely gonna fly and we're gonna keep this thing going. So it should be, should be pretty good. We'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. A hang of rats, out.